The camera control button on your iPhone 17, 17 Pro or Pro Max is not just a button to open the camera and can be a total game changer, but only if you know all its secrets. Here's how to use the camera button like a pro and also unlock some hidden features. The surface level feature of the camera control button is by pressing it once you can launch the camera and you can take photos by pressing it again. You press and hold on the button to take videos and release the button to stop the recording. But there's also the half press. To engage it, you just slightly press on the button until you feel the haptic. And you'll see the additional control will pop up. By default, it will be on the zoom and you can swipe up or down or left or right depending on how you're holding your phone to zoom in or zoom out. To access more controls, you double half press and now you can switch between other functions like exposure, the camera lenses, focal depth, styles, and tone. Now to choose one option, you can either lift your finger or double press on an option while it's highlighted. But we're just getting started. If you want to customize all these options and also unlock a few awesome features, you'll need to head to settings, then scroll down, select camera, and tap on camera control. At the very top, if you open the launch camera option, here, you can change the camera button's function altogether and program it to open the scanner, magnifier, or a third-party camera, such as from the Instagram or the Snapchat app. Now let's go back, and here you can change the default single click to open to double click to open. And this will help you guys a lot in case you keep opening the camera by accident. So now you can see if I press it just once, it doesn't work. And double pressing takes quick succession too so you can say bye-bye to accidental launches. To help with this, you also have the option called Require Screen On. When it's enabled on paper, the camera control button should be disabled in case the screen is not woken up. But in our case, it opens it up anyway and maybe it takes one extra press. So let us know how this works in your case. Right below, we have the camera adjustment controls, by disabling which, you strip all the camera control features and it just becomes a camera launch and shutter button. And with the camera adjustments enabled, you can further customize all the additional controls. For example, I don't use styles or tones myself, so I can just uncheck these. And then if I launch back the camera, double half press, you can see those options are no longer here. So it means less swiping. And you can also go ahead and rearrange these options to suit your need. Below we have the clean preview option, what this does is when you're using the camera control button, the built-in UI is hidden. But if you prefer to see all the controls, then you can keep it disabled, which I prefer. And I skipped these two options at the top, cause if you disable them, you're literally stripping the camera control button of all its features. Now let's go back. And one of the features that I like the most is lock focus and exposure. This will be disabled by default, so make sure you enable this. And what this does, is while you're taking a photo or video, if you half press on the camera control button and hold it, you'll see the auto exposure and the auto focus lock will activate, so there won't be any focus shift if another subject moves between the frame, and when you lift your finger up, it will go back to auto focus. And it works similarly in video mode. And at the bottom of the list, you'll have accessibility. Inside here, you have the toggle to disable the camera control button altogether, which we're not gonna do, and right below that, you have some very handy features in case you are having trouble getting used to this. So for example, if you find yourself having to press too firmly to activate light press, you can make it lighter. And if you think it's too light, you can switch to firmer. And you can try it out instantly by looking at this demonstration. Now let's scroll down. And the last two options are double light press speed and double click speed. And similarly, if you're having trouble pressing the button twice quickly, then you can make them slow. So now you can lazily press it twice and they will still register. Last but not least, you can also use visual intelligence using the camera control button. But for this, first of all, you'll need to make sure that you have the Apple intelligence enabled. If it's not set up, just go through the prompts. And after it's done downloading, you can go back to the camera control settings, scroll down, and now you'll have Launch Visual Intelligence. And now, if you press and hold on the camera control button, this will open Visual Intelligence. And to begin, you just take a photo. Then to use Visual Search, you circle using your finger, and you'll find similar images or results related to it 
from Google. You can also take help of ChatGPT by tapping on Ask. And if it's not enabled, you'll just get a few prompts. And then ChatGPT will analyze the photo and tell you what's going on. You can further follow up and learn more. And this completes the full guide on how to use the camera control button on your iPhone 17. Make sure to leave your feedback and I'll see you around.